here. Is that mute at all? Good evening, everyone. Let the special budget meeting dated December 21st, 2020 for the Borough of Brookhaven come to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic of the United States of America, to liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice for all. the roll, John. Thank you all. Mr. Wilmer, could you give us a roll call, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Heller? Present. Mrs. Fuchs? Present. Mrs. Heller? Present. Mayor Leslie? Present. Mayor, uh, Mr. Vasquez? Present. Mr. Gilroy? Present. Mr. Pappas? Present. Ms. Sawicki? Present. Mr. Wills? Here. Mr. Catania? Here. Uh, Mrs. Boyle, I, is she, I believe she's on. Is she on there? Joan, uh, Joan, Joan is on, yep, she's me. She's okay. me. All right, and then myself. Thank you, that's, everybody's here. Thank you, sir. We're going to open up the first public discussion session, although it looks like we only have one member of the public. So is there any anyone for public discussion, which would be Mr. Dykes, just you. Unmute yourself if you wish to speak, sir. I see your lips moving. Just checking on the budget. Okay, there will be another session at the end, another public session, public discussion session at the end, in case anyone joins late. Mr. Wills, would you like to give us a solicitor's report, please? Uh, yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, I do not have a, a, a formal uh, solicitor's report uh, this evening. Uh, I can report uh, general progress. Uh, I do have, uh, uh, I guess, a resolution for uh, Burke's uh, consideration uh, this evening. It, it would be a resolution filling the vacancy in the office of the secretary. Uh, I can briefly read it, Mr. President, if you'd like. Go ahead, sir. Uh, again, whereas after a lengthy and distinguished career of public service to the borough of Brookhaven and its residents. Mr. Mr. Wills, hang on one moment. Yes. Yes. Hold on, we have some, we have some uh, horrible background noise I have to get rid of. Get rid of. All right, I think I figured it out. All right, please start from the beginning, sir. Sorry. Again, this is a, a proposed resolution filling the vacancy in the office of Burr Secretary. The resolution reads as follows. Whereas after a lengthy and distinguished career of public service to the Burr of Brookhaven and its residents, Burr Secretary Mary Ellen McKinley shall be enjoying a well-deserved retirement Whereas said Ms. McKinley's retirement shall become effective December 31st, 2020. And whereas section 1005 sub, subsection one of the borough code entitled powers of council authorizes borough council to appoint a borough secretary by resolution. And whereas the borough uh, council has determined that Assistant Borough Secretary John Wilwert is the most qualified candidate for that position. Now, therefore, be it resolved this 21st day of December 2020 that the Brookhaven Borough Council hereby appoints John Wilwert to fill the position of Brookhaven Borough Secretary, who shall serve for an indefinite term at the pleasure of Borough Council commencing on January the 1st, 2021. If it is the pleasure of Borough Council to adopt such resolution, a motion would be in order at this time. I'll entertain a motion to do so. Second. Someone has to take the motion actually. No, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll take the motion. Who's my I'll second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. I want to thank John personally for his hard work this year. He's been an incredible addition to the borough, to the borough front office. He's, uh, it has not been easy on Mr. Wilwert. There's a lot of work to be done, a lot of catching up to do. And uh, we knew he was the man for the job when we hired him. And he's mm -hmm. certainly proven that. And that's the last nice thing I'll say about you, Mr. Wilwert. Thank you very much. 
I put this in. But thank you for all you do, in all seriousness. Are you muted? Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Oh, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Mr. Wills, anything else? Other than that, I can uh, simply wish uh, Borough Council, the mayor, uh, certainly the borough employees, and most importantly, our residents, again, a Merry Christmas, a happy, and most importantly, a healthy new year as we go into 2021. Uh, certainly, the borough has had some unprecedented uh, challenges uh, that we faced this year, but uh, I believe Borough Council has certainly been up to the task, and uh, uh, I suspect uh, hopefully 2021 will be uh, hopefully a, a little less uh, uh, precedential than this year has been. Barring, barring an alien invasion, I don't think it can get, get much worse than what, what 2020 was, but we'll see. And uh, what, what the public generally doesn't know, or most of the public, doesn't realize is how much a council uh, relies on the guidance of the solicitor. And we were fortunate to be able to appoint Jay uh, last January. We didn't think Jay would have to walk us through a hundred years pandemic, but uh, he certainly has uh, done that. He's been up to the task. It's been a difficult year for everyone on council, the solicitor, the, uh, the engineer, our police, fire, and EMS uh, above everyone else and, and all of our, of our employees, public works, uh, the office staff. And so we appreciate your guidance this year, Mr. Wilson. We certainly do. Thank you. But you're not getting a raise, so. No. <laughs> Unless you really ask nicely. Thank you, sir. Uh, mayor's report, Madam Mayor. Unmute yourself, Madam Mayor, there you go. Did you want the police chief to go? prior to me. Oh, sure, go ahead. Chief Zebley. I know, this is what happens. Hmm. Let me mute Janice where she yells at us again. There you go. Go hey. ahead, Chief. Sorry, uh, Mayor, I got your text, but I forgot about it. Go ahead. Right. A few items. Um, I wanted to uh, take this time to uh, express some gratitude to um, just some people and um, my officers. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank uh, Lowe's and Mrs. Heller for um, facilitating uh, a donation of N95 masks for our officers. Uh, so we have extra masks to kind of keep us safe, safer as we, as we work through this pandemic. Uh, also want to thank the residents um, for their donations of like holiday cards and uh, the treats. That's uh, much appreciated. I want to take a time to thank Officer Wetton for his assistance with training and qualifications, even coming in on his days off to assist uh, to make sure our officers are trained and qualified at the range. I uh, also want to make a note, uh, Officer Martin um, had perfect attendance for 2020. Uh, he was always, he's noticed that he's always 50, at least 15 minutes early for a shift and he's always thorough with his paperwork. I, w I definitely wanted to make a mention to that. Uh, I would thank you to Officer Subers, uh, working um, as we struggle with some COVID uh, issues. Uh, he took the most overtime this year uh, to ensure sh shifts are covered. And uh, he's also in very enthusiastic about attending training and assisting with the FTO program. Uh, thank Officer Havoc as well, or Detective Havoc rather. Um, been a big help with assisting investigations and uh, evidence management and the background checks for a new hire. Uh, and also thank Officer Barth uh, for assisting with uh, the fleet maintenance and thorough research um, of equipment for the vehicles uh, to, to save money. Uh, it's been a big collaborative uh, effort on everybody to keep things going. Um, but they had two big incidences uh, since the summertime, and I wanted to read off to you. Uh, the first one involves a fire incident uh, in August with uh, Officer Tuttle and also Tia Felek. On Sunday, October, or uh, on Sunday, August 23rd, 2020, at 342 hours in the morning, Officer Tuttle, Tia Felek, and the fire company were dispatched to 1716 Cambridge Road for a report of a residential building fire with possible entrapment. Without delay, 
Officer Tuttle and Teofilak responded and quickly arrived. Officer Teofilak and Tuttle immediately determined that smoke was coming from the second floor bedroom window and material was found burning outside the building in the yard. From the same window, a male guest of the home was leaning out and yelling. Officer Tuttle immediately took action before the arrival of the fire company and forced open the front do entrance door with a strong kick. Upon entering the residence, Officer Tuttle was wet met with smoke condition as he entered the second floor. Officer Tuttle located a male inside the second floor bedroom and that male was experiencing a changed mental status and was suffering from the effects of smoke inhalation. As the fire was burning in its incipient phase, Officer Tuttle assisted him to safety with the help of the fire chief who now arrived. The male was transported to hospital for treatment for smoke inhalation and burns. The resident was located in a lower level and she was alerted of the danger and escorted from the building as the fire company began extinguishing the fire. The quick and decisive actions of the officers undoubtedly mitigated a more dire circumstance. circumstance. Uh, they are to be commended, Officer Teofilak and Officer Tuttle. Uh, second incident that I want that a noteworthy incident I'll read to you involves Officer Jenkins. On November, November 14th, 2020, at 0558 hours in the morning, the Brookhaven police were dispatched to the residence of 6125 Hilltop Drive for a burglary in progress. The homeowner came home from work to discover that his entrance door had been forced open and that the offender was still inside and had already threatened and attacked him with a pipe before the homeowner was able to escape the attack. Officer Jenkins arrived and determined that the offender was still inside. Officer Jenkins summoned backup units and waited for their arrival. Upon the arrival of the assisting units, which consisted, consisted of, of Officer McCann from Upland Police Department, Officer McNeil from Parkside Police Department and Sergeant Montgomery from the other province police department all made entry into the residence to find the offender pacing back and forth in the living room. The offender appeared in an altered mental status and was not compliant with commands from uniformed officers to get on the ground and instead he decided to pick up a pipe and charge at the officers to attack them. The offender was tased but it did not have an effect on him as one prong failed to connect. The offender continued in his advance towards officers. The offender then began to swing the pipe at Officer Jenkins, striking him. Officer Jenkins began to fight off the offender and a second attempt was made with the taser from another officer, which was now successful in controlling the offender and allowing officers to subdue him. <clears throat> A scenario existed where lethal force would likely have been justified and could have been used, but due to Officer Jenkins being tactful by waiting for and utilizing backup officers and all officers acting with restraint, there were no serious injuries or loss of life. An investigation of the scene showed that the actor was inside of the residence for an extended period of time and drug paraphernalia was found. Officer Jenkins is too can be commended for his actions. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Chief. Thank you to all three. Thank you, uh, Mr. Jenkins, um, Tuttle. Mr. Tuttle. And I'm going to say Kim because I still can't pronounce Kim's last name. I apologize. Kim, I know you're wrong. Teofilak, right? Teofilak. Okay. Teofilak, same thing. It's okay. Teofilak, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Me. Great work, all. All set, Chief? That's it. Madam Mayor? Yes, good e am I unmuted? Yes. Good evening, everyone. Um, I just want to reiterate what the police chief um, said in regards to thanking our officers for all their heroic, heroic efforts. Uh, Officer Tuttle, Teofilak, and Jenkins. And I also want to thank all of our officers and the fire department for all of their hard work this year um, under the circumstances that we've been under. 
So everyone's been doing a tremendous job. So thank you very much. Also, I just wanted to say real quick, a thank you to everyone, my little elves that all participated with the um, families for Coburn and Parkside. I'm glad we were able to collect a lot of stuff and give them a very nice Christmas. So thank you to everyone and may everyone have a happy, healthy holiday season. Thank you. End of my report. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We're gonna to go to the council reports. Uh, Mrs. Sawicki is gonna cover the budget. And uh, as I said earlier, that council reports are optional. This is a budget meeting and um, I'm sure anything can be saved for the council, the January council meeting. Mrs. Sawicki. Thank you, Mr. President. The first item I have is we have a motion to approve the bill list that Delilah gave for the bills for the end of the year so she can clean out the 2020 bills. So we've, I'm going to make a motion for that, please. Second. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any questions? Motion carries. Okay, the next item is the budget for 2021. I'm going to make a motion to approve the budget. Um, the millage is 2.72. Um, it's been a duly advertised and we have had public inspection for it. So we are ready to adopt it for next year. So I'll make a, make a mo motion to adopt the budget for 2021. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any, qu any opposed? Any questions? Motion carries. Okay, the next is the ordinance for the tax rate. So the ordinance is, the millage is 2.72 mills. And that is a reduction from the 4.85 that we had this year because of the assessment that was changed in Delaware County. So I'm making the motion that we adopt the budget, that not the budget, the budget's ordinance for 2.72 mills for 2021. So I have a second. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, the next ordinance is for the trash fee. It is still $250 a year per residence. And I'm going to make the motion to adopt the ordinance for that for 2021. Who wants the second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any questions? Motion carries, thank you. Okay, the next one is for the sewer rental charges for 2021. And I just wanna list, if you're in zone one, which is most of this side of Edgemont Avenue, it's $430 a year. Zone two is over where Our Lady of Charity is a couple of houses, $430. Zone three is basically third precinct, $430. Zone four is those individuals' houses that are into the sewer plant for the borough, $474.69. And then Hilltop area is $428 a year. So I'm gonna make a motion to pass the ordinance for um, the sewer rental for next year. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I, have, I have one question. Which of those was, was an increase? There was one increase, correct? Uh, the increase for anybody who wasn't in the Brookhaven sewer plant, it was a 14% increase of, I think it was $38 it was for Delcor. Annually, okay, okay. That was the annual increase. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we any do other, have some- Hold on, any, any other questions? I'm sorry. And I, I don't believe I asked if any were opposed, none opposed. All right, motion carries. Thank you. Okay, now we do have some resolutions. The first one is dealing with salary increases for next year for 2021. So council had the list of the employees and what their raises were. So um, I'm asking for a motion, I'm making a motion to do resolution 20-021, uh, which states all the salary increases for next year. I have a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any questions? Motion carries. Okay, the next the next resolution is every year we do have to appoint the bank 
who is our depository for borough funds. And it's Brenmore Trust, which we have been using that, that branch and that bank and its predecessor bank since the borough was incorporated in 1945. And we're appointing them and Delilah McDade's the treasurer to handle the work that goes through that, all the check, signing the checks and preparing the checks. And so I do make, make, I'm making that motion for that resolution, 2020-022. Who wants the second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed? Any questions? Motion carries, thank you. And most of the resolutions are housekeeping, so I, I appreciate your, you know, putting up with this, but the next one is resolution 2020-023, resolving to pay certain bills upon receipt. This is our automatic payment resolution, which lists all the businesses who send us invoices that we pay immediately to prevent us paying surcharges or interest. And it's council had copies of this. So I'm making a motion so we can pass resolution 2020-023. Do I have a second? I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No questions? Motion carries, thank you. Okay, the last one I have is the trash rebate. It's resolution 2020-024. Now this is very limited. You have to be a <laughs> senior citizen living in your house and it's very restricted as far as income. And that is, um, I'll just tell it's $25,000 for per household for a 50% rebate. And it's $12,500 for, for one residence um, for a 100% rebate. We really don't get a lot of these, but we put it in, I guess, at least 20 years ago to try to help. Did you mean a permit rebate? No, it's a trash rebate. Uh, are, are you, oh, so so the the cap across the entire borough are those figures that you read? Yes, that's the cap. Okay, the cap all right. For, okay. The cap is for a household, not an individual. So sure. if you have two people living, it's it's the same thing. Okay. Sure. So I'm going to make the motion so we can adopt resolution 2020-023. 24. Yes. Who wants to second? I'll second. Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed or any questions? No. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's all I had. Thank you for your patience. It's, it takes a lot. Thank you. Great work, Janice. Great work, Delilah. Great work to the uh, Budget Committee, the rest of Council, the current and former mayor. Um, I know that we we uh, had no idea what we were going to be faced with from a, from a revenue standpoint. So we hopped on Hopped on some budget meetings way back in April, I believe, or, or, or late March, once we realized that the pandemic was uh, something that was going to be lasting. And we made steep, staggering cuts, big cuts. And uh, some things we cut cut permanently, other things we punted down the road to uh, 2021 and 2022. And the fact that we came out of it without a tax increase uh, shows uh, shows that the great effort of all of you. I mean, we did what we were elected to do. We're not going to go and pat ourselves on the back. It's we did what the residents elected us to do, to raise taxes in, in a time where X amount of people in the borough, and we don't have a count, uh, are unemployed or, or have reduced hours or, or reduced income. The last thing we wanted to do was uh, saddle us <laughs> with another, with a tax increase. So uh, fantastic work. Seriously, great job. And uh, next year is probably not going to be all that easy. This, we, may not, we might not be out of this until mid-year from, from what I'm reading, assuming that the vaccine distribution goes well and it does its job and stops this pandemic. So great work. Mrs. Fuchs, reports are optional. Um, I just have a very quick report, Mr. President. The Ordinance yeah. Committee did not meet this month. Um, I also wanted to take a moment to thank Janice, Delilah, and everyone for um, a zero tax increase for 2021. I'm sure the residents <laughs> will greatly appreciate that because many were afraid with the um, tax assessment. So thank you. Um, I also wanted to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Fuchs. Mr. Gilroy. Thanks, President. I don't have too much myself either. I just want to thank uh, 
everyone throughout this pandemic for our community has really just I mean, taken the extra effort, you know, uh, you know, wore your mask, maybe uh, you, you took one trip a week to the store instead of five. You know, any little thing that anyone's really done, you know, it definitely goes a long way. And I, and I think it should really uh, you know, commend those who really tried to do their best uh, and to help us really fight one of the weirdest things that's ever happened. Um, sure is. But I just want to uh, thank, you know, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays uh, to Council, Mayor, uh, our police, fire, and our staff uh, for you guys. Uh, you know, as you see, it, it, it is, it's not fun. Um, it's, it's much better when we're all running at normal operations and smooth and high five and then handshake and we'll get there. But uh, everyone just kind of hang in and you know, stay safe for the holidays. Thank Thanks. you, sir. Welcome to council again. Thank you. Best wishes going forward. Mr. Pappas. Uh, I actually don't have a report this evening, but obviously I want to wish everybody happy holidays to our residents, to the council, and even our employees. Thank you, sir. Happy holidays. Mrs. Heller. Sorry. I just wanted to do a quick thank you to um, Public Works and our emergency responders for this past storm on uh, Wednesday. Thank you for all the hard work that they did and all the prep work that they did. Public Works especially, they were getting the last uh, zone of the leaf collection right before the storm. So they had to switch gears very quickly. So I wanna give them a huge shout out. Um, and also to Steve Schultz, our emergency coordinator for updating us. Uh, ahead of the storm, during the storm, and even after the storm. So we were very lucky. Um, and just like everyone else, I wanna wish everyone a happy holidays and hopefully everyone will start the new year being um, safe and healthy. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Teller. I wanna thank uh, Chief Montella, Chief Zebley, uh, Public Works, all the office staff. Um, hope I didn't miss anyone for the um, toughing it out this year. I know it wasn't easy. I know the police had help me help me out here, Mr. Zebley. Eight eight officers uh, quarantined at, at one point or the other, something like that. I know the fire departments had a couple of positive cases, a couple hospitalized. They're fine now. They're recovering. Uh, public Works. We had an employee positive and uh, a couple more suspected. Every single department, including the office staff, had at least at least one employee that was um, that was positive COVID and, and they all got through it without without major issues. Fortunately, the office, uh, which had really effectively had to shut down if you if you had uh, a member of the office staff contacted up here or contracted up here, I should say, but fortunately they contracted it while they were away. And we were able to keep the office moving. Um, but uh, special special kudos to, to uh, the, the police chief and the fire chief. I mean, you guys are on the front lines. You guys are the ones worried about taking this home to your families. You know, I, I sit I sit at a desk hiding in my basement all day. She says, Mrs. Heller, and, and I'm I'm still <laughs> I'm still worried about getting it. But you guys uh, you guys do the yeoman's work. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, hopefully it'll uh, it'll clear up by by mid 2021. And also a special thanks to Public Works and everyone that assisted Public Works in last week's snowstorm. I think they said they worked 28, 30 hours straight plowing and, and coming back in. And one of them worked 30 hours and went home, slept two hours and came back in on, on an emergency call. So we certainly appreciate the effort last week. The roads look great. We got one minor complaint, which is great. And that was taken care of the next day. So we, we certainly appreciate it. I wanna do a quick COVID update. It's my doom and gloom report for the, for the month. Brookhaven uh, is up to 317 total cases with seven deaths. In the last 30 days, we've had 129 cases and two deaths. 41% of our cases have come within the last 30 days and almost one third, I shouldn't say that, 29% of our deaths have come within the last 30 days. And Delco as a whole has ranged anywhere from 200 to 400 cases lately. We've had that super spike after Thanksgiving. Doesn't seem to have really, uh, really plat, or I should say it has plateaued around 350 lately, which isn't great news, but it's it's better than what we expected. So we're worried about what the Christmas holiday is going to do. Hopefully, we we don't get another super spike. 
But um, I did get news from Chief Montel that uh, he received a request uh, for a list uh, of his roster uh, of, of those that will eventually be able to get the vaccine without a timeline. Chief, Chief Sebley, did you receive a similar communication regarding, uh, regarding vaccine yeah. distribution or, or, or administration? Yeah, send the roster to the county emergency services. For, as, uh, as in with Chief Montel in their timeline, correct? Yeah, we probably got the same note notice same time from emergency okay. services. So the roster made it to the emergency services for the county. Okay. Well, since the last meeting, we've approved the second vaccine. So hopefully within the next few months, anyone willing to take them will will be able to get them. But that's all. 2020 will 2021 will be better off. Thank you. Thank you all again for your efforts. Mr. Vasquez. Thank you, Mr. President. I just wanted to give a uh, small update with Public Works. Just wanted to say they did a great job with this past snowstorm. Everything went well. The leaf collection will continue on, though. They have not fully finished. If you had your street missed or your house missed, please call the office. They'll get in contact with Dave, and we'll have the team over to collect your leaves. This also goes for anybody whose leaves might accidentally get pushed into the storm sewers during the snow removal of the streets. So um, please just keep us updated. We'll do the best we can to uh, correct these issues and get to your leaves. Um, the team did a fantastic job. You know, I was very, very impressed with our uh, two newest, you know, uh, people actually in plows, Billy and uh, Justin. They did a great job. I was very impressed with that. Uh, that's all I have for public works. Uh, as for the budget, this was a very tough year. We made some hard cuts and kind of echoing what Terry said. We punted some things down the road. Hopefully, uh, you know, nothing big pops up this year and kind of catches us off guard. But I think after this year, we're pretty much going to be ready for anything. It's not going to be easy, but we'll get through it. And, uh, I really want to appreciate everything that this budget committee's done, Janice, Delilah, all the time, the meetings, you know, Chuck, Dave, all the meetings we, we went through to uh, try and get everything squared away for this upcoming year. You know, it's, it's not gonna be easy, but we will get through it and we'll do what we can to make what's, uh, what we feel is best for our residents is we're, we're here to take care of our community. And if anything, this year really, really makes you wonder is, uh, you know, you, you got you to gotta, you gotta really focus on those that you love. Appreciate that time home with your family and everything, because you never know. It, it, life is never guaranteed. So uh, that's the end of my little rant there. I'm sorry. Got a little well, well, all I have is time at home with my family right now. <laughs> I can't really go anywhere. <laughs> Sir, I certainly that, echo that. I echo those sentiments. That was a good thing, right? Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. But appreciate it because, you know, life's never guaranteed. I'm related that I'll be sleeping in the uh, mayor slash council president's office tonight on a mattress. So that's okay. Anything else, Mr. Baskins? Uh, that's all I have. Uh, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and here's to a better 2021. Indeed. Thank you for your great work this year, sir. Thank you. Mr. Catania, the engineer's report is optional. You're, you're really only here to answer any uh, any budget-related questions, uh, budget-related engineering questions, but say whatever you, you wish, it. sir. All right, we did have that one issue with the uh, pump at the, the, pump, the that's treatment right. plant, so mm -hmm. we need authorization to, to pay, purchase a spare pump. It was $1,038.50. How much was it? $1,038.50. It's actually cheaper than what we originally thought. So sure, I thought it was sixteen hundred. That's what I was about to say. That. Yeah. Well, you are authorized. It does not need a motion. Okay. Then, other than that, then I just want to thank everybody for the past year. Uh, enjoy the holidays and best wishes for twenty twenty one. Thanks. Thank you, Charles. Thank, thank, thanks for your service to the borough for twenty twenty. Mr. Leslie is not present. Board of Health isn't present. Mr. Hampton is not present. Anyone for public discussion? That would leave you, Mr. Dykes, because I think you're the only Enough. member of the public. Well, hello there. Uh, question first. First off, is a question for Mr. Wilworth. 
whether he received the email that I sent him a couple of weeks ago about uh, weeks. things for the rec, rec board. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm not, I'm not in a rush for it, John. I know you guys are busy right now, so I just wanted to make the fair. Yeah, I, I was going to try to, once the budget was over, I was going to address that. That's what I think was going on. Um, as far as rec board goes, as of right now, I have six people who are interested in, in joining the recreation board, oh, wow. uh, either as uh, members or alternates. So we should be good with that. We'll be working on that in January. So for the February council meeting, we should be bringing names for appointments at that point. Um, the next thing, first thing we're going we'll to be working on will be the Easter egg hunt. Hopefully we'll have an Easter egg hunt. Uh, well, it all depends, but oh. that'll be the, what was that? Isn't April 2nd Easter? Yeah, we're doing, we're planning on Easter on April 1st. Okay. So I think Scrooge has her doubts, but we'll see. Um, no, I just was remembering Easter. The, the East, the, I think the Easter Bunny has his doubts as, as well at this point, too. Easter Bunny might be dead of COVID at this rate. What would you say about the Easter Bunny? Um, other than that, for the cutest for the... Easter Bunny in the world, by the way. Yeah. That's cutest, right. Cutest one. Who is he, what am I missing here? Who is the Easter Bunny? You, you don't know? No. Somebody I know personally. You lost me. Continue on, Mr. Dykes. Anyway. Um, so after that, we'll be working with the uh, sports teams as far as baseball and softball, and then working on trying to develop some new programs for summer programs, which I think will be fun uh, for families and children around the, around the borough. And that's all that I have. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Chief Montella, you have anything? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, just uh, like to thank uh, Council for their support of us all year long. It's been a rough, tough year all the way around for the borough and for the fire department, the police, EMS. Uh, we see we're getting through it, and uh, we we just thank you guys for supporting us through this rough road that we've had. And uh, we wish everybody a merry Christmas, happy holidays, and a happy new year. Thank you again, and we're glad that all your men and women got through it relatively unscathed, anyway. Even those that con contracted COVID, so. Shouldn't be long, hopefully. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Is there anything anything uh, from anyone else from council or the mayor? I have one issue of new business, uh, Mr. President. Go ahead, sir. I uh, just want to remind council that uh, we need to place a legal notice in a newspaper of general circulation advertising our meetings in bulk for 2021 so that we are in compliance with the Pennsylvania Sunshine Act. Correct. Again, our next meeting is scheduled two weeks from the scene. Sorry, did it. And, and it, was our, it, was, it was already placed. Yeah, John already did it. Okay, well, I, I had to change, so unless he already received my change. I'll check on that, so. Okay. What change? The Veterans Committee schedule will change. The hometown hero banner committee was merged with the veterans committee and the schedule will change. Did he tell you that? Let's all talk about me like I'm not in the room, Janice. I heard that. <laughs> Has that notice been, been in the newspaper then, John? The 23rd. The okay. 23rd. All right. What's today? All right. Go well, ahead. the retraction will come out of Mr. Wilworth's pay. We can do that by motion next week. Uh, I can I can I can contact them tomorrow and hold off. That's fine. It. Nope. It's it's no worries. We can change it. I can just change that. Yeah, we can add it. You just got to tell me tonight what you want in there. Okay, no worries. I took the dates off the calendar that, that were on the calendar. So. Stop stressing. I'm just having a little fun with you. Anything else, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> just comment again uh, for, for the members of the public that the property tax millage rate that the bar enacted this evening of 2.72 mills is a revenue neutral budget, meaning that the revenue we are raising from the property tax in 2021 equals the revenue that we raised in 2020. And again, that is a significant accomplishment given the financial stresses that were on the budget 
as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic for 2020. And I can tell you from personal knowledge, only a handful of municipalities in Delaware County are adopting a revenue neutral budget for 2021. And Brookhaven Burr is one of those few that are doing it. So uh, that's certainly an accomplishment for uh, all of Burr Council and the mayor that have been excellent stewards of uh, Burr taxpayer dollars. And that is certainly one of the premium responsibilities that uh, Burr Council is invested with. That is all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. Everyone, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. We will see you on uh, at the January meeting. I need a motion to adjourn, please. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourned. Aye. Happy Merry holidays, Christmas. everyone. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year. No, you know, don't touch that gavel. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's not on it. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I think it broke. Good night. <laughs>